My name is Güleycan. I'm a 22 years old architecture student in Istanbul Technical University. I live in Cihangir, Beyoğlu, Istanbul. I'm also a tattoo artist. I'm originally from Bursa. I started university right before COVID started and that's how I moved to Istanbul. Right now, I'm living in a two-room flat and I'm sharing my house with my close friend from university who is also Turkish and she's also studying architecture. This is a day in my life. I don't have a specific morning routine. When I wake up, I brush my teeth, pick my clothes, get ready, then I do my makeup and my hair to leave the house. I don't usually have breakfast in the mornings. I generally just drink coffee. Either I go to school or the studio doesn't matter, I have my coffee there. One of my hobbies is playing the guitar. If I don't go to school or to my job to the studio that day, I sometimes play my guitar. And I have my guitar here. This is my street. If we go down through this street, we will go to my tattoo studio. But now, we will go up this way to go to my school. Cihangir is the artistic part of Beyoğlu. Some famous people and artists live here. And also you can see it's famous for its old buildings. And also walking through the streets, you will see many art galleries and small boutique shops. Now, we are walking towards my faculty, the Faculty of Architecture in Istanbul Technical University. And we can see some of the vans actually being parked there. It's because they're making a movie or a TV series right now. Our building is famous for its interior and outer design and most of the famous building actually were taken inside of the building. The first thing I do when I come to school is to get my morning coffee. So let's go get it. After I get my morning coffee, I try to find a room that is empty and available for me to study on my graduation project. Right now, because I'm taking my graduation project course, I don't go to the lectures like a usual student. I work individually and then we have monthly juries that we can learn the thoughts of the professor about our finishing project. I started architecture in 2019 and right now I'm in my fourth grade, so last year of architecture. I chose architecture because I found that this job connects my scientific part to my creativity. In my faculty, there is a higher percentage of female students. But in the construction sector, men are more preferred than women sometimes. Actually, it depends on the team that you are working with or the firm that you are working in. For example, I've been in the construction sector for some time, working as a student in some different projects. And right now, the project that I'm working in is a volunteer project in the earthquake zone that we recently had in Turkey. And my team includes more women than men. I'm very happy and content with the volunteering projects that I'm working on right now. And this opportunity was given to me by my school and my professor. Professors. Another opportunity that I had thanks to my school was Erasmus program. I had the chance to attend the Erasmus program for one year and I was in Italy in Milan. It was a great experience considering the culture that I get to know and I also get to learn a little bit of Italian. I learned that how to pass through the language barrier, how to communicate with people in their own language or in English and what changes in different communication. And I also get to practice my major 
major in another country with whole different programs and different professors. So for other people who are studying university in any major, I also suggest to go to the Erasmus program if you have the chance because it will add a lot to your life and it's great memories and experiences. Apart from everything I said, my favorite thing about my school, my major, is the creative vibe and atmosphere all around the campus. So let me show you around. So for example, this is a memory room for one of our professors and inside you can see his little works which creates a creative environment. Here on the behind of me you see some student architectural projects that are showcased and you can find these kind of showcases all around my school. It gives us inspiration and a creative environment all around. All of the corridors on the top floor of faculty are designed differently. For example, as you can see of the corridor behind me. This is one of the most creative corridors of our building, Tashkishla. And all around you can see project classes where most of the creative uh, lectures are held. And you can see some people actually studying inside, working on their projects all the time. So this is the food that I get for lunch from my school canteen. In the university, the price for the lunch is 15 Turkish liras. And actually comparing the prices to the places that I can get lunch from in Taksim, it's very affordable and cheap for the student life. Now I'm standing in front of the garden door and the inner garden of Taşkışla is called Orta Bahçe and it's uh, the most famous part of our building actually. Many movies, TV serials were shot here and when there's a university in the scene of a movie, generally the garden you see is our garden. So let's take a look at it. Since I mentioned that I have a tattoo appointment today, now it's time to leave the faculty and go to the tattoo studio. Today I'm going to do a minimal tattoo and my style of doing tattoos is fine line tattoos mostly and delicate tattoos. When I was little, I used to go to carnivals and do temporary tattoos and two years ago, this interest turned into being a tattoo artist uh, when I met my studio by my friend from my university, actually. And it's amazing to be passionate not only for architecture, but also for tattooing, because both interests are in the creative field. And they support creativity and inspiration for each other, actually. There is a lot that I learned from both sectors that added different aspects to my life. Tattoo sector is sometimes judged by elderly because it's old reputation for sure. But now, a lot of young and creative souls are working in our sector and making amazing art pieces and designs. For example, our studio have four artists from my university only who are also studying. In the future, I'm very passionate about architecture for sure, but also I want to always include tattooing in my life and maybe even continue both jobs in a collective studio. I know there is a chance because also the architectural project and construction of the tattoo studio that I'm working right now was made by me as a freelance architectural project. So I'll always be open to any opportunities of my future and I think everyone should be always open for what future Holds. So this is the end of my day. I hope you enjoyed watching a day in my life as an architecture student in Istanbul. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and görüşürüz.